Hello everyone and welcome to the masterclass of this week. As you know, we're going to talk about the featured image, which is a problem for a lot of people because uh, they post their links or people post their links from their website. Uh, sometimes you do it yourself, some people share your website with other people and the image that shows up, if any at all, doesn't really look very nice. Maybe there's some text on it that gets cut off or maybe it's just not showing the part of the picture that makes any sense. So what we're going to go through in this next maybe 15-20 minutes is how exactly to deal with the feature image. I'll also explain a bit first what exactly the featured image is. So I'm working with WordPress. It depends a little bit on the system you have for building a website. Um, if you have Wix or Squarespace, there will definitely be a place for each um, page and for your website as a whole to set a featured image. So if you don't know where it is on the other platforms, uh, you can have a click Google usually, that will help you out. Um, in this tutorial though, I will show you how to do it with WordPress. So I have my little checklist here. Um, Yes, first of all, I just want to show you where the feature image shows. If you go to any page, let's say I'm going to go to... Uh, first, I'm just going to show on a page where I see the featured image uh, here in WordPress. I still use the classical editor. So if I click on my About page here, then if it hurries up a little bit, you will see that you have this sidebar. Uh, if you use the block editor, it will look a little bit different. Okay, so if you use the block editor and can't find where the featured image is, should be in your sidebar, an option for that, then drop a note in the Facebook group and I will make a special little tutorial just to show where it is for the block editor. Here for this page in particular, here I put the featured image. It's different than any of the images actually here on my screen. So the place that that will show is, first of all, um, it's if you put a feature image for any of your blog posts, it will show here on your blog post list, uh, on your blog. So if you go to your blog, if you have a blog, you will see usually a list of entries and you will see a picture next to it if you have set the featured image. Depending a little bit on the template you use, the f uh, kind of the blog page will look different. I show you, mine is here, but I made it a little bit extra fancy. Uh, on, for example, a client's website here, her blog page look really nice in the sense that her pictures are on top here. And um, yeah, if she didn't add a featured image, it wouldn't show any pictures here on the list of blog posts. So that's a little bit important, or sometimes the wrong image shows. So um, that's one place it shows, and of course it shows on social media. So I'm just going to show you now, if I share my About page here on my Facebook page. Let's see if it allow me to do that now. Um, here in my group. So let's say I want to... Okay, I'm just going to go back home in my group and we'll see uh, if it's possible to... Let's see. Today, sorry for the talking in the background here. Um, so when you post something that it's in your group or on a page or somewhere, anywhere on social media, when you click my URL, even without doing anything, without clicking enter, you will see what shows up. You can see the featured image and you can see the text. So this is first to let you know like where the featured image show up. And what happens next then is, is this is, um, in the sidebar, yes, yeah. Uh, you can also actually set a featured image. So you can set featured images for each of your pages. So for all your pages and all your posts, you can scroll down and you can set the featured image for that particular page or post. What you can also do is to set an image, particularly for Facebook, in if you use the Yoast SEO plugin, you will have this here in your menu on WordPress and you will have an option here called social. So when you click here, then first of all, you can add here all your social media links if you don't know that. And But for Facebook here, you can add the front page setting, depending if you use a theme builder, you might have to do it on the page itself. 
uh, or you can do it here if you have any doubt or where to set your home page image because that depends a little bit from theme to theme then write me a question in the group but you have here in any case some called default settings so this has see here this image is used if the post or page being shared does not contain any images so if you have an empty blog post without any images when you post that blog post on social media at least this main image will show up that you set here so you can just add here when if I want to change this image for example I can choose another image here from my library and add that there. So what happens though with, uh, when we post the images? Sometimes it doesn't post what we want it to. And uh, let's see, I had a little demo here, a featured demo page exactly. So here I have this um, page I just created here with two pictures and on this page I, I didn't set any featured image. So what we can do now, and then I post it on Facebook and I have to refresh this one. Let's see, or maybe I can just change this URL. Let's see if it will be nice to me. And pick that up. No, yes, okay, yes. So here, okay, it chooses the first image that it sees. Very often is that what's happened is just picking one of the images from your um, page or post. And sometimes it isn't the picture you want. This doesn't look too bad here because it shows on the side like a nice square and this picture was square and I can see everything but sometimes maybe you have a picture with some text or some bigger picture that kind of you can't see everything. Ideally for Facebook you want your images to be much more horizontal and not square. So uh, I'm going to show you now, okay I'm going to change on this page that I put up here. I'm going back to my page and I think okay I want to set this image as my featured image. So I go down here and click set featured image. Find that image in my library and as you see here ideally the size of the image should be 1200 pixels times 630 for Facebook. And um, that's something I can show you at the end of the t uh, this video how to modify the image size but for now I'm just going to add this one and I'm clicking update. So what you would think having done that is that okay now that I go back to Facebook and post this link again then Facebook will understand that it needs to get a new picture. But what happens is, let's see I'm going to refresh this page, is that Facebook doesn't really go back to your website to check all the time if you have a new featured image. Facebook is too busy unfortunately to go around and check everyone's website if they have a new featured image. So what happens here even if I now have refreshed everything, I refresh here and I know I saved my new page and when I now post here again my link then it will show exactly the same picture even though I changed it. And this is where people get frustrated. <laughs> so what we're gonna do, we have to tell Facebook, hey, go back and check my website and look at what featured image I have. So go to Google and put in Facebook debugger. This is a little bit geeky, so these are for the ones of you who like to play around. It's not difficult when you know the steps. It took me though ages to figure this out and I was very frustrated in the beginning that uh, I didn't really had to go through so many steps just to change that featured image. So I'm pasting here my URL and I click debug. So what happens is that Facebook now is picking up some information and it says like last time I checked it says two minutes ago and I still see the old image. So when I click here it's very usual that it doesn't really show the one you want it to. I click scrape or scrape again wait for it okay and it actually picked it up right away now what happens sometimes is that you have to go a little bit back and forth and click debug wait scrape <laughs> debug and scrape a couple of times before it actually picks up your new image so don't despair if it doesn't work the first time just keep clicking scrape again and keep clicking debug until the right image shows okay <laughs> so what we're gonna do now I'm gonna go back to my Facebook uh, page here or group uh, and click reload and just to make sure that Facebook really has understood that there's a new feature image going on for this page okay, it's a bit slow since I'm on the live so thank you for your patience so I'm pasting this here and cross fingers yes it has picked up on the right image here so the um, second question a lot of people would have is like, okay, but how do I change this text below the image? So I'm going to show that too since uh, it's kind of part of the what is showing, the feature things. So I'm going back to my page here 
and uh, when you scroll down when you have the Yoast SEO plugin installed when you go below your content you will see underneath here a section called Yoast SEO and here is where you can put in your um, your meta description so here is like the SEO title for the page right now the SEO title is featured image demo gorgeous geek so maybe I want to call it something else so I would call it here I mean it's just picking up the code like finish the title the page uh, I'll just delete all of this and I put in that I want to have like them on written page for the master for example you see this orange line here it kind of suggests that you may have a longer title uh, so if I add some stuff here you see it goes to green it's not a very very important thing um, demonstrator but here also can add a meta description so keep in mind that people don't see a lot of it so here you just see a little bit uh, in other places like Google you'll see a bit more and usually by default if it doesn't have anything to choose between it chooses just the first sentence that it finds in the page or the post so here you can add something else so here I have a more specific meta description and you can just add some let's see for now I'm just gonna add some of this and here you see as well it's the same thing that uh, it will tell you if it's too long that means like it's no point writing much more because people don't see the rest of that snippet and you have to play around a little bit to manage to say what you want <laughs> within the kind of limitations you have so here again if I update this now Facebook I have to then uh, it's not going to pick it up on again go through this link here click debug and ask it to go back to my website again and check the latest data before it moves on so um, it has now and click okay still thinking so always make sure that before you start to get impatient and stuff <laughs> have a look that your page is finished reloading because sometimes if you're on a little bit slow internet connection or for some reason it's a bit slow like when you're on zoom calls on right now on Facebook live the computer goes a little bit slower so um, yeah okay so I clicked scrape again now and it picked up my new data here so now you know how to do that uh, let me see I'm just gonna go back to my list to make sure I uh, have done everything I wanted yes uh, let's see I'm not sure like I'm not sure if I can see your comments if there's anyone so if I need to pick up on anything later then just let me know mm, I see you, Sylvia you're online hello thank you for joining <laughs> I see your like so that's a good thing and what I will show you for the uh, last thing for those of you who really want to learn a little bit about images because uh, as I said ideally the featured image for Facebook as you see uh, when it's shared here this is like the ideal size and it's not always so easy to get it right because sometimes if you have something on here like text and something you don't want it to be cut off on the other hand I don't recommend to have images with the text on Facebook because first of all Facebook will compress the image and then the text tends to be a little bit blurry I think I might have an example of that but yeah you might have to just believe me I'm not gonna spend too much time on looking for that image <laughs> but you will notice when you do this Facebook debugger and the tech and the test if you see that it's blurry and you have text you might consider not having the text on the image but rather make the most out of the SEO title of the page and this meta description which this is called so let's see now I'm gonna show you like um, how you can make sure that a picture is exactly the right size I go always to a website called pixlr.com and here uh, I, I'm gonna just open an image now that I need to kind of shape <laughs> to the size, <laughs> the size that I need it to be and uh, it's a free tool it's online so it's really good for managing small things on images like this and it will just ask you which size I want to open it usually I just do full HD apply okay uh, either it got stuck or hang on I'm gonna refresh here and see okay uh -huh, uh -huh, I did pick up okay let's try again well I was an example myself for not being patient enough so let's try again it's quite a huge image that I'm uploading here this is like 9.4 megabytes that's one thing we're also going to take care of 
basically do not want to have any images uploaded that is any megabyte at all and if you really need to you know if you work with a lot of images and you're not aware of sizing then uh, let me know because I have tutorials about how to manage images for your website because with WordPress you can easily upload like 2 megabyte and 3 megabyte without any problem it's not going to give you a warning but what happens is that when you have very huge images then it slows down your website so we have this lovely lady here and you can see the actual size now it's 1920 which is okay what I want to do first is just reduce this size to uh, 1800 uh, but I see it's like hmm, it's too tall. I want it to be 630. So what do I do to achieve that? I will go to this cropping tool, and then you see some menu is showing up here. And what I put in here, you can put in the ratio, or you can put in the actual size you want it to end up with. So um, if you have, for example, a smaller image and you kind of want to stretch it a bit, I usually use the ratio first: 800 times 630. And you see, okay, hmm, I have to kind of choose here. Oh, not 1800. What is it? What is it? Um, am I confusing myself? Let's see here. Uh, where is my image? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Did image? Okay, I'm gonna go back to this one, which was okay. I'm gonna just geek out here a little bit. 1200 times 630. Okay, my mistake. I thought it looked a bit too big. 1200 times 630. So now I can put it so she really fits on the picture, like I'm not cropping off her head or her hair, and I just click enter on my keyboard, and you see that you get the right size. The width is now actually still 1800, so what I want to do is, you know, I could have done here, put the size in here to 1200 times 630, and it will just automatically reduce the size of the image as well, like you see here, it picks it up and then you click file and you save it onto your computer and then you can upload it to your page or your post. So that was uh, the part about dealing with images. Just make sure when your image is ready, let's see, I'm gonna have a look for this one. Okay, I'm gonna give you a last geek tip here before I go. <laughs> I'm gonna save this one, uh, demo, and I'm going to download this. So I'm just gonna put that in my folder here and what I want to look for um, now I'm on a Mac so it looks a little bit different if you are on a PC but I like to go to the folder and I look at the picture and I see how big it is this is 128 kilobytes now that is totally acceptable it's kilobytes it's uh, around 100 Ideally, for any images you upload to your website, try to keep it around 100 kilobytes or less if possible. For big images with a lot of detail, that's not always possible, but definitely do never upload anything like this crazy stuff, you know, like 56 megabytes, gonna make your website like, bah, go and die and think, man, can't deal with this. <laughs> so always have a look. I think on PC, what you can do, if you don't see it here, uh, when you just hover over the uh, the file without touching anything usually will have a pop-up that will say how big it is okay so yeah that was the information for today I'm just gonna have a quick look here if there's anything that I should pay attention to I'm gonna try to see if there's any comments I see there's something here so yeah okay perfect so it looks like everything's okay for those of you who catch the replay or see this on YouTube, feel free to reach out for any questions you have about this. Feel free to join my Facebook group if you're not in it, or reach out to me directly if you need some one-on-one -on -one help with any of this or anything related to websites, of course. Thank you for joining me today, and yeah, wish you all a super nice evening. Bye!